Yo, what's up you guys? So a few weeks ago, I did a video on the GPD Win Mini and apparently I didn't go in depth enough in regards to the sizes and comparisons. So I wasted this one guy's time. I'm here to make up for it. So I have various different devices here. I have my scale and I have my handy dandy measuring tape. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. We're gonna compare all of these devices side by side, the dimensions, the weight, the measurements, the size, all that good stuff. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right into the comparison. Let's go. Okay, so we have our scale here. Um, let's get our base measurements before we get into the side by side comparisons. Let's get our base weight. So we are looking at 535 grams for the uh, GPD win mini here. So that is a good weight. It's, I think it's one of the lightest um, 7840U handhelds around right now. So pretty good weight, pretty good size. So let's make this our new zero weight. So every other device is going to be either more or less than the GPD win mini. But don't worry, we're gonna do all of these side by side measurements and side by side size comparisons so you can get an exact understanding of the difference in size and weight between the GPD Winmini Win Mini and all the other handhelds uh, on the market today, at least the ones that I have. So let's get into the test. Let's start off with what I believe to be one of the um, the fan favorites. Um, actually, let's start with the, the Steam Deck. I think that's the one that is really the one to beat. So we have the Steam Deck OLED here. This is the, the new OLED limited edition. It is, um, lighter than the original. It is only 85 grams more than the GPD Win Mini. So let's bring this over here. Now let's get our side-by-side -side size comparisons. Here is the Steam Deck side-by-side, -side, the GPD uh, Win Mini. Of course, the Win Mini can close. So let's see, this is um, fully open and this is uh, fully closed here. So here is the side-by-side -side comparison between the Steam Deck OLED and the GPD Win Mini. Now, I want to do some scientific um, measurements here. So I have my calipers, as you can see, calibrated to zero millimeters. And let's just look at the dimensions of the, the GPD Win Mini here. So the Win Mini is 168 millimeters wide compare that to the steam deck which is almost a whole foot because this um caliper can only go up to 12 inches so it's 298 millimeters um long here on the steam deck the win mini is how many millimeters wide 110 millimeters 110 millimeters wide the steam deck is slightly wider than that at 116 millimeters, so six millimeters wider and a lot millimeters um, wider in that dimension. So as you can see here, this, the Win Mini is much smaller than the Steam Deck, but when you open it up, of course it does become much, you know, take up much more space in, you know, the vertical dimension. So let's see how wide it is or how tall is it? It is 200 and, 11 millimeters long or tall, wide, whatever you call it when it's open in relation to the Steam Deck, which is only 116 millimeters wide. So when it's fully open, of course, it is going to be a, 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 a tall device, I guess you would call it. It's tall because it has like, it's like two devices stacked on top of each other. So it is much taller than the, um, the Steam Deck, but you can see it here, fully open and one more time, We'll look at it uh, fully closed. So a very small package in relation to the Steam Deck here. And I think this is a sort of a good indica indication of a starting point for this whole comparison. Now, what would I be if I didn't try it with the, with the grips? The grips, of course, do make it much um, thicker. As you can see here, the thickness between the um, Steam Deck and the GPD Win Mini is significant with the, with the grips but we have one side without the grips and you can see the side without the grip is um, much thinner here. So let's check out the measurement of the, the thickness, I guess you would call it. Let's put the um, the grip on here and try out the, um, the thickness with the grip. The thickness with the grip is almost exactly 50 millimeters. 
while the Steam Deck is thinner here, 35 millimeters. I think the thickest point is around 38 millimeters. Yeah, so the thickest point is 38 millimeters. So 38 millimeters versus 50 with the grip. The Win Mini without the grip is going to be 26 millimeters up at the trigger, which is the thickest point is going to be, I think around 30 millimeters. So yeah, 31 millimeters at the thickest point. So there you go with the grip, it's about 20 millimeters thicker. So we'll keep that in mind for all of our test. 36 without the, without the grip, 50 millimeters with the grip. Now let's move on to our next side by side size and weight comparison. Okay, so our next size comparison is with the the ROG Ally. The ROG Ally is 82 grams heavier than the um, GPD Win Mini. It's 82 grams heavier. As you can see, the ROG Ally is actually slightly um, like smaller than the Steam Deck. It's like slightly slightly shorter, um, slightly narrower than the um, the Steam Deck OLED. So it is smaller than the Steam Deck, but it is larger than the GPD Win Mini. So it's 83 grams heavier. Let's check out the, the thickness here. You can see that the ROG Ally is thicker than the, the Win Mini. Let's check out the, the measurements in thickness here. So the thickness at its thickest point. Now the ROG Ally doesn't have much of a grip, but at its thickest point, it is 31 millimeters. Make sure we have that right. At its thickest point, which is up at the trigger, it's around 32 millimeters so it's actually thinner than the gpd uh, win mini it actually is thinner than the gpd win mini with the grip um so even though the rg ally has a little grip here it's not as thick as the gpd win mini with the grip on it so here's the side by side comparison with the rog ally now let's open that up so we can see how it is next to the rg ally while being open so here you have it the GPD Win Mini next to the ROG Ally while it is open. And then one more time with it closed, here is the size comparison. Now let's move on to the next device. Okay, let's take it up to one of the big boys, the Lenovo Legion Go. This device is 324 grams heavier than the um, GPD Win Mini. Just so you can get a sense of the, um, the whole weight it is 859 grams, which is much heavier than the 535 or so grams of the um, GPD Win Mini. So this is a big chunky boy in relation to the GPD Win Mini. The GPD Win Mini is even smaller than just the just the tablet version of the, the Legion Go. So just the screen itself, the Win Mini is smaller than that. But let's check it out with the, um, with the screen open. You can see, of course, it is um much taller now the legion go is 299 millimeters so it is um wider longer whatever you want to call this dimension it is wider than even the steam deck at 299 millimeters um wide for everyone that needs that in inches that is 11.7 inches long so that's almost a full a full foot long and i guess this is the the height of it, it is 130 millimeters tall. Um, so it is pretty, pretty big in all dimensions. Let's look at the thickness. It's gonna be much thicker than um, the Steam Deck, I think. 37 millimeters at the, like the middle of the grip, 41 at the thickest part. So the the um, the grip, with the women with the grip is still thicker than the um, Legion Go at 50 millimeters versus 41 or 42 millimeters. So here's the side by side with the Win Mini and the Lenovo Legion Go. This is open. Of course, of course, it's going to be taller than every device being open because it's like two devices stacked on top of each other. Um, like I said before, but when you close it, this gives you an idea of the um, the portability and the size. Just look at the size here. You can like fit this in your palm, put that in your pocket. Um, if you have like cargo pants, a pretty loose pocket. You can fit that in your pocket um, in relation to this device here, which is much larger. It is a much more portable package, but it has the same sort of power as these other top of the line devices here. So let's move on to the next device. 
All right, sticking with the big boys, we're going to another huge device here. This may be the biggest device I have, the um, the ANU Kuhn here. This is, I think, one of the heaviest devices, heaviest handhelds I have at 968 um, grams or 969 grams. This is a huge beefy device, as you can see here, even heavier than the Legion Go. In relation to the GPD Mini, you can see it's just dwarfed by this huge device here. Now, if you open it up, we're gonna just open it up just to see the size um, differences here. Now, it is um, sort of, you know, a normal shape device, so it's not gonna be as wide as the Wii Mini when it's open, because the Wii Mini has like two devices stacked on top of each other. That's the theme for this device, but it can go into a much, you know, more compact package, even though you still have that seven inch display. This is a 8.4 inch display, which is much larger, but you do get a nice compact package in the GPD Wii Mini. I will also say that it has a slight um, anti-reflective coating. So if you can see the um, the camera here, uh, if you look at it on the Anio Kuhn, it is very prominent, but it is more sort of muted on the um, GPD Wii Mini because it does have an anti-reflective coating um, that you can sort of see there. You're still gonna see reflections. It's not like a you know etched glass like the Steam Deck, but it is less reflective than something like the um, ANEO Kuhn. And here are the um, the size differences here. Let's check out the <laughs> the width of this huge device. Actually, you guys, the ANEO Kuhn is so wide that I can't even get the full measurement of it, which means that it is larger than um, a foot because my caliper can only go to a foot. So we actually do need the, we actually do need the tape measure. I had this tape measure as like a joke, but we actually do need it. The ANU Kuhn is like a foot and a half. <laughs> I mean, not a foot and a half, a foot and one foot and an extra half an inch. So almost 13 inches long, which is just crazy to think about. Now let's look at the, um, the thickness here. Um, the grip is actually not that thick on the Anio Kuhn. It is very comfortable to hold, but it's not the thickest grip here. 32 millimeters at the middle. And I think the widest is probably gonna be about 40. So yeah, about 39, 40 millimeters at the, the thick part of the grip near the trigger. So here you have it, the side-by-side -side of the um, Anio Kuhn and the GPD Wear Mini. You can see this device just sort of dwarfs the, uh, um, the GPD Wear Mini. I can hide the entire device under there and it's just really, really a huge device, um, this ANU Kuhn in relation to the Wii Mini. Let's check it uh, open one more time. So there it is open and then we'll close it. The theme of the day is that the ANU Kuhn is like twice the size. It's like two Win, uh, two Win Minis next to each other. So let's move to the next device. All right, before we get to the small devices, we have a few more large ones. Another big chungus here is the, the One X Player 2 here, and this is another big one. It is 856 grams, so it's close to the Legion Go in, in, in terms of weight. Um, let's just look at the the width here. This is another device that is actually more than more than a foot in size, so that is, that is kind of crazy, you guys. It's actually more than 12 inches wide, so I can't even get a full measurement there, is less than the the um, ANU Kuhn by about a quarter of an inch. So it's like 12, 12 inches and an extra quarter inch there. So this is a very, a very chunky boy here. Here we have the side by side with the Win Mini. Now let's open it up. Here you can see it with the Win Mini open. Let's get a measurement of the, the grip here. So we'll get a measurement of the uh, the grip. You can see that the grip is pretty thick on the um, One X Player 2. You can see 39 millimeters there. Go to the top of the grip. We get, uh, it actually tapers down at the top. So it's 36 there. The thickest point is 39. So it is a pretty thick, grip there a pretty thick device overall you can see here the tablet portion 
the um you know you can take the controllers off here's the tablet portion i think the tablet portion may be almost as thick as the gpd we're mini not as thick but it is a pretty um thick device there um, but of course you can attach those controllers but the screen itself is still larger than the gpd we're mini so let's move on to the next device here Okay, before we get to the big brother of the Win Mini, let's check out one of my favorite devices here, the AOK Zoe A1 Pro. Here we have the uh, uh, eight inch device. So not like a 8.8 .8 or 8.4, just an eight inch device. So the screen is only an inch larger than the, um, the Win Mini, but of course there's a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. So it is gonna be slightly um, wider in the aspect ratio. Now I think, I'll tell you guys, I think that the AOK Zoe A1 Pro is like the perfect size. It's 727 grams, so it's only like 200 grams heavier than the um, the Win Mini. Only about 100 grams heavier than the the Steam Deck. Has a larger screen. Has a 65 watt hour battery, so even um, larger than the ROG Ally, larger than the Steam Deck OLED. But it is a very, I guess, not you know, huge device. It is large, but it's still compact. Um, I think it is the perfect size, eight inches. The screen is not overly large. The device is not overly heavy. It feels well balanced in the hand. So I think the, the A1 Pro is like the perfect size at eight inches, um, 728 grams with a 65 watt hour battery. Let's take a, a look at the, the length here. So it is 282 millimeters um, long. Let's see the width here. It is 124 millimeters um, tall. Let's look at the grip. It has a very nice thick grip, even thicker than the um, the Steam Deck. So let's see, 40 millimeters here. At the top, we are at um, 39 millimeters. So a very nice grip to body ratio. Let's take a look at the Win Mini open next to the A1 Pro. Here you see Win Mini open. It's gonna be taller than every device, of course you know that. And here it is again, next to the Win Mini um, closed. Now, let's not waste any time, let's move on to the next device. Okay, so this is gonna be the last big, big device here. And this is officially the biggest device I have, the big brother itself, the GPD win max 2 7840u look at this we are into the quadruple digits that's right four digits on the scale here 1045 grams that is huge and this is another device where we have to open it up so here it is closed now let's open these two devices this device is almost two times the weight and size of the gpd win mini so Let's try to fit this in the frame here. Now let's get the Win Mini. <laughs> this I think is sort of like the best comparison um, between any two devices. Just look at the just look at the immense size difference between these two devices. We have a device that is 10 inches, 10.1 inch diagonal screen. Um, this is like 1600p versus a seven inch 1080p display. It's just crazy. It's like two times the size two times the pixels on the screen. This is just, this is this is absurd, this is crazy. We'll do the um, in-hand test, as you can see here. If you have large hands, you know, you're gonna be pretty comfortable, but I feel like the Win Mini is a much more practical gaming device. The GPD um, Win Max 2 is more like uh, a replace all of your devices type device. But let's just look at the difference in weight. We have 1,045 grams versus 533 grams. So if you was to multiply that by two, you'd be at 1,070. So this is only this is only like 20 grams um, less than being two times the weight, or 30 30 grams less than being two times the weight of the GPD Win Mini. So that just goes to show you how enormous this device actually is. Look at this. This is this is just amazing, you guys. Just the size difference in this. So it is 227 millimeters um, wide. How tall is it with the fully open? With it fully open, it is just more than my calipers can handle. So it's gonna be around 12.1 inches when it's fully open. And then with it closed, um, with it closed, it actually is a pretty, a pretty compact device for the, the size you get 
for it being a 10.1 inch display it is actually pretty pretty compact it is 159 millimeters um, tall and it is not so thick we'll check out the thickness here it is 26 millimeters thick up at the triggers is going to be 30 millimeters thick so it's not that it's not that thick you can fit this in a like in a backpack if like you know how you would other laptops it's a pretty thick laptop but you could fit this in a, a backpack pretty easily and it is you know not so hard to take around it is just pretty large to actually use it in your hand because this is a very very huge device here you can just see the immense size of that but I think it is a great all-in-one device to replace, you know, your laptop, your handheld, your tablet. I think this device could do it for some people, but most people probably won't like this. It's not really practical. Now, let's move on to um, some smaller devices here with the ANEO 2S. This is a 7-inch uh, device here. Pretty compact, actually. You can see it's 680 grams, right? So it's 680 grams, not much heavier than the, the Steam Deck. Of like I think it's like 30 grams 30 or 40 grams heavier than the Steam Deck so not very heavy you can see it's pretty small as, as far as the 7 inch devices go it is 264 uh, millimeters wide so it's even smaller than the ROG Ally so you can see that there it is um, not even as long as the ROG Ally and it is a 7 inch display now it is 16 by 10 so it's going to be slightly taller and we have 105 millimeters um, tall it has a pretty decent grip here it doesn't really um, have a nice um, separation as I would like but it has a pretty decent grip here let's check out that grip at the widest it's looking like 36 millimeters let's check up at the top at the triggers is going to be about 32 millimeters so pretty decent grip you can see the size comparison here the um, the thickness you can see that there and let's check it out with the Win Mini Open. Here it is with the GPD Win Mini Open. Um, pretty nice compact 7-inch device there. Okay, now let's move on to the um, the smaller devices. Let's move on to the 6-inch um, devices. Now, one of the 6-inch devices I, I have is the um, AYN Loki Max. This is 770, oh, 576 grams, sorry. So it is pretty close in weight. You can just see here, this is 535. So just around, I think, 30 or 40 grams. So yeah, so just 40 grams heavier than the GPD uh, Win Mini, but it actually has a smaller screen. So this is a six inch 1080p um, display. This is a seven inch 1080p display. And you can just see the size difference here. Um, let's get a measurement there. In the the length it is 247 millimeters long how tall is it it is let's see here let me get the right measurement it is 97 millimeters tall how thick is it, it has a pretty nice grip on it. look at the grip on that you guys this has the best grip in like a small device we can see here we are at 35 millimeters there and at the top we are at 36 millimeters so a pretty good grip ratio there let's just look at it with the wind mini closed here we have the wind mini closed next to the ayn loki max you can see here it is even smaller than the um the loki max um and it is closed but the loki max is a very portable um device here it may be the most portable um you know handheld that has like you know nice sticks so the sticks are full size here like this is full xbox size you compare that to the tiny the tiny little um recessed nintendo switch size uh, joysticks on the win mini i would say that the ayn loki max has much better um joysticks the best joysticks in a small device now the last and final device we're going to be doing this comparison here is the brother to the win mini and it is the gpd win 4 now check this out you guys these are brothers as you can see here we have the slider versus the folding clamshell and as you can see here it is close in weight so it is 609 grams 
versus 535 gram soup not much heavier but we do have a different sort of a uh, style of device or approach to the overall form factor we have a keyboard still but it does hide under that screen there so it doesn't always have to be there i think that is a great feature because when you don't want the keyboard you have a typical i guess um you know candy bar style whatever you want to call this device um but when you want that keyboard you can um you know get it up and you have access to it and then you can tuck it away when you don't need it the win mini the keyboard is sort of always there taking up space even when you're not using it but i will say the keyboard is better on the um the win mini the keyboard is actually better the keys are larger and they do have a much um better pressing mechanism but i will say that the win 4 is slightly better for gaming because one the controls or the joysticks are not recessed so they get more range of motion and you can also put um larger caps on the top so you can get a better grip and customize the comfort level on the overall device there so let's check out the measurements we have the length which is 220 millimeters let's look, check out the height with it with the screen down we are at 93 millimeters with the screen up we are at 133 millimeters and the thickness we are at 34 millimeters for the thickness now it doesn't have much of a grip that's one thing i don't like about the um win 4 is that it doesn't have much of a grip look at the device even though it's thick even though it is very thick it doesn't really have much of for you to hold your hands onto so that's one thing i think is lacking in the the win 4 I, I i wish that maybe the win 5 would have just a more pronounced grip that we can hold on to even having the same form factor i think if it had a better grip it would be uh, much higher up my list as far as devices that i gravitate towards now this is all of the devices that i have on hand pretty much um next to the gpd win mini hopefully this was helpful hopefully this wasn't a waste of time and this is going to be a long one so if you made it to this point in the video um if you made it to this point in the video comment tape measure comment tape measure if you made it to this point in the video and you'll be entered to win a special prize we're gonna make it to 5k subscribers and with that being said make sure you like subscribe ring that bell all that great youtube stuff and i'll keep coming to you with more barely average dude content this was a side-by-side -side comparison i am loving the gpd win mini especially with these um the grips if you've been watching my channel, you know that I just have one grip on my Win Mini because one grip is the way to go. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the side-by-side -side comparisons of this amazing mini device here. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.